Blessed is the virgin who by denying herself and taking up her cross imitated the Lord, the spouse of virgins and prince of martyrs. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge before God our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have, have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have, have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through, 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 through my most grievous fault. Therefore, therefore I ask, ask Blessed, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and you, and you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and sisters to, to pray, pray for me to the, the Lord, Lord our, our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the Virgin Martyr Saint Agatha implore your compassion for us, O Lord. We pray, for she found favor with you by the courage of her martyrdom and the merit of her chastity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. The elders of Israel and all the leaders of the tribes, the princes in the ancestral houses of the children of Israel, came to King Solomon in Jerusalem to bring up the ark of the Lord's covenant from the city of David, which is Zion. All the people of Israel assembled before King Solomon during the festival in the month of Ethanim, the seventh month. When all the elders of Israel had arrived, the priests took up the ark. They carried the ark of the Lord and the meeting tent with all the sacred vessels that were in the tent. The priests and the Levites carried them. King Solomon and the entire community of Israel present for the occasion sacrificed before the ark sheep and oxen too many to number or count. The priests brought the ark of the covenant of the Lord to its place beneath the wings of the cherubim in the sanctuary, the holy of holies of the temple. The cherubim had their wings spread out over the place of the ark, sheltering the ark and its poles from above. There was nothing in the ark but the two stone tablets which Moses had put there at Horeb when the Lord made a covenant with the children of Israel at their departure from the land of Egypt. When the priests left the holy place, the cloud filled the temple of the Lord so that the priests could no longer minister because of the cloud since the Lord's glory had filled the temple of the Lord. Then Solomon said, The Lord intends to dwell in the dark cloud. I have truly built a princely house, a dwelling where you may abide forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, go up 
to the place of your rest. Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Behold, we heard of it in Ephrathah. We found it in the fields of Jar. Let us enter into his dwelling. Let us worship at his footstool. Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Advance, O Lord, to your resting place, you and the ark of your majesty. May your priests be clothed with justice. Let your faithful ones shout merrily for joy. For the sake of David, your servant, reject not the plea of your anointed. Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After making the crossing to the other side of the sea, Jesus and his disciples came to land at Gennesaret and tied up there. As they were leaving the boat, people immediately recognized him. They scurried about the surrounding country and began to bring in the sick on mats to whatever they heard he was. Whatever villages or towns or countryside he entered, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might that's only the tassel on his cloak, and as many as touch it, it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise <clears throat> to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today in the Gospel, we see the tremendous power of contact with our Lord's person. And all who touched him were cured. And the evangelist Saint Mark mentioned that the slightest physical touch can work, can work miracles for those who approach Christ with faith. His power to cure overflows from his loving heart and extends even to his garments Jesus' ability and willingness to heal is both abundant and easily accessible. We know, my dear friends, success or suffering and sickness will still be part of our life in this world. How blessed are we to have a God whose compassion is readily available to all who long for it, to all who seek it. God is not far from our needs. And we know from the gospel there are numerous incidents that recount to us that whenever he is challenged with sickness, his wish is to touch. His desire is to heal. And what is more striking with this gospel episode is also the faith and the selflessness of the people. The account says they rushed about the surrounding country and the people began to bring in the sick on mats to wherever they heard he was. And these people were not begging, not for themselves, but for others. 
how selfless they are. And I believe Jesus was touched by their faith. They were asking for the small favor, just a mere touch of the tassel on his cloak. Jesus was moved with pity. Healing power spontaneously comes out of him. And the Spirit of the Lord is revealed. My dear friends, two truths are revealed in this gospel episode. First, the Lord is kind and merciful also and He gives importance to people's act of faith no matter how little it is. And second, nothing can deter the power and the blessing of God. Jesus can bestow this to us in whatever way He wants. Jesus, just to touch the tassel of your cloak, people come from far and wide, laying their aching bodies and their hearts before your loving gaze. They are asking for grace and healing. Is this situation any different than today's? There are still so many people loved by you who are aching also in flesh and spirit yearning to someone to understand to welcome to shelter and to embrace and so many do not know the power of love that lives in you our lord of that mystery burning within your heart to heal to touch for we too ache with a deep inner wound, each one of us. We ache with yearning for deep, abiding, and unbreakable intimacy. And yet, we keep our hearts sheltered, locked up in fear and insecurity. Indeed, we prefer to live on the surface, far from the deep, inner place which though beautiful in God's eyes is too much for us also to hear to bear in its intensity and most often we prefer simply to take flight into the ease into the numbness of the periphery but loving God you gave us much much more than this for you give not a garment's touch, but the most intimate of all, in that Eucharistic body and blood, you live in us, Jesus, and us in you, deeper than any humans can live in one another, but in a union that unites us all within the beauty of your all enveloping embrace. Amen. Such was Jesus' power to heal that even touching the tassel of his cloak produced healing. Let us have recourse to Jesus to heal our wounded selves 
and our wounded world. And so we say, Lord, in your mercy, heal us. Lord, in your mercy, hear us. Grant that those suffering from illness may find a full and speedy recovery and may turn to God with praise and thanksgiving, we pray. Lord, Lord in, in your, your mercy, mercy, hear us. Grant that scientists, researchers, and those in the medical profession may be given wisdom and guidance to find cure for sickness and love to attend to the sick, we pray. Lord, Lord in, in your, your mercy, mercy, hear us. Grant that those who offer their lives to attend to people in times of epidemic and conflicts may soon come to their eternal reward in heaven, we pray. Lord, Lord in, in your, your mercy, mercy, hear us. Grant mercy to those who died and strength and consolation for their grieving families, we pray. Lord, Lord in, in your, your mercy, mercy, hear us. Grant rest and recovery to Mother Earth as people respect nature and put a stop to the destruction of the environment, we pray. Lord, Lord in your, in your mercy, mercy, hear us. Lord, through the intercession of Mary, health of the sick, bless those who take part in Jesus' pain to carry the sins and sickness of the world. Keep our faith firm in times of trouble and infirmities. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you gave ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve, 
and in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift she pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was willing, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Patricia our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God and Mother of Carmel, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints that please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art who in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom, kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the, the sins Jesus. of the world, have Lord. mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the, word, the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. The Lamb, who is at the center of the throne, will lead them to the springs of the waters of life.
Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.